Hi everyone, Ali Assassin here, and welcome to Reviewing the Rank. This is my first review of gameplay for Season 2. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Now, this match here is a Stronghold match. In the beginning, I'm going to mute my teammate because he has music blasting through his stereos. Which, I'm so glad they added the mute all feature in pre-game. Thank goodness they did that. But the thing I want to talk about mostly in this game today is being a little bit too aggressive in strongholds. Now, I'm going to spoil the end of the game here. We do end up winning this game. And statistically, I do alright. And decision-wise, there's definitely some better decisions I could have made in regards to um, pushing, the strong pushing strongholds when I shouldn't be. And you'll just see that my team overall is just very, very aggressive. Now, there I do a pretty decent job getting rid of the overshield from that guy with the storm rifle. I probably shouldn't have charged in so hard, but by the time I realized what I was doing, I was already thrusting in there. Here I just have some bad shots against a storm rifle opponent, and that thing really melts really fast. It kind of caught me off guard, to be honest. But you're going to see here, this is a fairly close match. Not insanely close, but... There's a lot of trading off in this match, and there's a lot of one team dominating and then the next team dominating, and just back and forth between both teams. So it's just kind of all over the place. Here I do a pretty okay job at staying alive long enough for us to uh, capture the stronghold in the middle and regain control. See, I do die, but I am in there enough time, my teammates helping out, we get control back, we get points back, and really, of course, if you know by now, the main thing of Stronghold is keeping at very minimum two bases. This guy, uh, I kind of give a little bit of a, yeah, I get a little bit grief too there because he tried that melee from ridiculous range. And here I'm, you know, just kind of helping my teammates out. I'm not really paying attention to that one Stronghold being taken in the back there. But I realize I think that's actually Pit. I don't know what I was doing with that, with that uh, ground pound animation there. But you see, right now we are two up. And our teammates really aren't paying attention on d defense. They're more worried about taking that other base from the red team. Here I have a very interesting double kill. Uh, <laughs> wasn't really sure what happened there at first. But they both ran into my uh, splinter grenades. It seems like during a lot of this match, I really want the people that come back to defend our bases. Our teammates are just really focused on attacking and attacking, and even I eventually get that way. Now, right now, we are being dominated. They have all three objectives, and my teammates are, like I said, at work trying to attack them. One good thing we do is we do attack multiple ones at once, forcing the other team to split up and not being able to rush us like they want us to, like they want to. So one thing you'll definitely notice is this team loves to just rush all at once at us. And we definitely use that to our advantage. Because right now, boom, we're three up, like I said. That's really how this game just goes back and forth and back and forth. Neither team really ever has control for a long period of time. So we really don't also use map control very well. You know, I myself spent a lot of time on the ground floors where I should be up higher taking advantage of that height control but I don't really do that that much which is something I can definitely work on. Here I'm working to try to defend mid and I, yes I knew I was gonna fall there and I believe we are going to start losing control again here we already lost our home base and you know, you see my team is just kind of spread out. Again, we don't really have communication either, which is another thing I want to point out. Is that because I'm using my teammate, we don't really have good communication. Here, I think I, yeah, I get ground pounded by my teammate. Don't, don't ask me why. But I do. <laughs> and you know, we do have a pretty good lead here. And looking at the final score here... We will keep about this lead on them the entire time, but it's not that we don't have moments of, oh shit. Because we definitely do. They always have the pressure on us. Usually on the pit. 
here. I'm doing what I was doing saying before about trying to keep kind of a presence up high so I can have a good vantage point on the map. Teammate apparently isn't playing, which is always always great to have when you're playing multiplayer games. Yeah, that's one of the keys to success when you're playing multiplayer games. Make sure your teammates are AFK as much as possible. Here I try to keep these guys away from the point as we try to capture it. Do a pretty good job. I thought that guy was going to be down there. But I don't believe I survived long enough to take the base here. No, I don't. I just get flanked by too many people. But as you see, we're not making much grounds here when it comes to capturing bases. And I do believe that we are going to take mid again. One thing I will say about my teammates here is they are very good at team shotting. And though we really don't move together, there are a lot of times that they clean up a lot of my kills and I clean up a lot of their kills. So in that regard, without having any communication whatsoever, they do a very good job covering me. Like right here, I know I'm under attack and I'm dropping a nade, but my teammate already has my back. He already has the shots going in there. And like I said, here's me being a little bit over aggressive when it comes to that. You know, we have two strongholds. We're already gaining points. I should be more worried about defending those other two, but I grabbed this third one and because of that, we're losing their base. So, and we're also losing middle. So, you know, it's it does not pay to be that aggressive in strongholds. It definitely pays to take your two bases and hold back. That's something I definitely have to work on. And, of course, with teammates, it'd be a little bit easier. With actual teammates. And here, I'm just... Look, again, they have three on us now. Like I said, we went three up. And it very quickly shifts to it, them being three up. It's just, it's not easy to control three. And it really weave, leaves you weak and vulnerable. Now here my teammates have successfully capped their base and are going to take mid again. And like I said, because we're taking multiple at a time, it definitely spreads them a bit thin. And luckily our teammates are just good enough and thankfully, that that guy got needed by his teammate. Which I... We're not going to talk about that bad name. <laughs> but I'm able to juke that guy out, grab middle. And, I mean, yeah, from here on out, I think we have pretty good control of the game. Like I was saying, keep it to two bases. Don't try to be too aggressive. And playing defense as Stronghold is also very important something that we really didn't do much of. It's something that I also am really, very guilty of just kind of freelancing it and going about doing what I want to do. And over here I'm going to pay back this guy for keep banging after getting a perfect kill on him. Give him a little bit of business. <laughs> something I usually don't do, but I'm like, you know what? You guys are losing. You guys disrespect my teammate. I'm not going to stand for that. Here they try to flip it on us, and we luckily cap that base. I do believe... Oh yeah, they're going to take uh, mid again here really quick. So we'll get a few points in, but we are only four points away from winning. You know, we did control most of these, obviously, for more time than they did. But again, I would like to see in future gameplays for myself, and just in general... Where, when we have two, we just focus on defending the two that we have and not try so hard to go for that third one. Alright guys, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully this made sense. And, you know, if you guys have anything else you can see in this gameplay, please feel free to add it. And, you know, I'll definitely look forward to reading your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.